Hello, it's Jeremy of Spokane Super Tattoo with Pam again. All right, so we were talking about the ISS. How I don't think that it's real, and I want to show you a couple things here. So okay. when we look here, here we have the ISS right here. Now, mostly this is going to be on you, all right? Okay. Okay, so we're watching the ISS here. The Earth is moving and everything's going on here. Now, one thing that I want to point out is where are all the stars? Mm. There's none. And the reason why NASA says, I think, is the sun washes out the stars. You can't see them. So, okay. good enough. Now, let's go to the temperature. Right now, they are in the thermosphere. So, what is the temperature of the thermosphere, Pam? 2,000 degrees. Celsius and degrees. higher. Oh, yeah. 3,600 Fahrenheit. All right. So, now let's go back to this. Now, the ISS here, it's not made out of steel because that would be too heavy for it to get up off the earth and all that type of stuff. You know, it's a lot of aluminum, other things like that. So the temperature we found out, let's see when steel melts. Oh, 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. Lower than what the thermosphere is, huh? Yeah. So like I said, there's not much steel, there's a lot of aluminum. When aluminum? does aluminum melt? Huh? I was gonna say even lower. I wow, bet. now here, let's go, maybe we should look up uh, titanium. When does titanium melt, huh? Because maybe it's made out of that. I sure don't think that it is, but Titanium, uh, oh, 3,000 degrees. Look at that. Even titanium. Is yeah, there. so titanium wouldn't last up in here neither. No. So now, one other thing. Remember we were talking about underwater sea cable and satellites? Right. Do you see any satellites orbiting Earth? No, I do not. Now, let's see how many satellites. <laughs> how many satellites are orbiting Earth, Pam? Oh, what the heck? How many is it? 1,459. Let's go and look. Do you see any? I do not see any. Wow, they must all be on the other side right now, huh? Yes, probably. Yeah, now, <laughs> satellites. They travel in groups, I hear. Yes, <laughs> murders, right? Okay, how about we did satellites, how much space junk is orbiting Earth? Well, that's what I thought about when you said the satellites. Yeah. I was, that's what I was thinking of space junk, yeah. 500,000? Pieces of Jupiter space junk. I don't see any. Now, um, maybe they're nuts and bolts and they're so small we can't see them. Okay. Who knows? Um, one other thing about this is... There's no planes. Maybe we're too far away to see, but there's no planes flying today. The Earth is moving. Oh, the yeah. clouds never, ever move, though. Um, the continents are all white, I guess. I don't see any continents today, so that's always pretty weird. Um, let's see. One other thing is, how come they never give us a 180 view or even a 360? Turn this camera around and show me the black void of space. Oh. They won't do it. They won't do it. Um, also, this space station, the ISS, it's not just like floating up there. It's mm -hmm. moving. How fast is the ISS moving, Pam? It says International Space Station travels in orbit around Earth roughly a speed of 17,150 miles per hour. Right now, it's moving 17,000 miles an hour. Now, have you ever been in a car and tried to take a picture while it was moving? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And did it look as good as this? It didn't look that clear. No, no it didn't at all, did it? So, and also, but since... But I wasn't quite going 17,000 miles an hour. You weren't, time. but you sure get the like point. It 16 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, since this, you know, doesn't stop moving, yeah. people dock it. They get on and off of it at 17,000 miles an hour. So, how does a rocket and an ISS magically meet so that people can dock? At 17,000 yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. How does that... Can you tell me? I could not. Me either. That's some serious That's James serious. Bond shit going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> so now, since we have astronauts up at the ISS and they're fixing it and working on it, yes. how do you think they practice doing spacewalks and stuff? How would they practice that? How would they? I mean, going outside the space station. Right. That's the only way they would practice it, right? No. Look at the ISS training facility. They have a life-size replica of the ISS here in, on Earth in a giant swimming pool where astronauts practice their tasks and they practice their spacewalks. Now, if we take away that water that they're, oh, and the water, isn't that convenient that they're doing it in water to simulate weightlessness? Oh my gosh. So if they take away all the water and they put a green screen of Earth and space, how do we know they're really up there if they have a training facility here on Earth? <laughs> right? Yeah. Isn't it weird? Huh. So that's just uh, something for you to think about. Yeah. Isn't it? Definitely. So. It is, yeah. yeah. Now, 
So there you go. That's the story there. I'm going to stop this for a moment.